it's like a time capsule in some ways, pushing boundaries. It's like nothing else you've ever seen. It's kind of mad. The Nautilus was really interesting because it was really like a concept car, but in speakers. It's trying to be a doorway directly into the intentions of the artist in the recording studio, and it's created a form which is incredibly visually stimulating. I think it's really important for us to celebrate 30 years of the Nautilus design. We've made a unique pair, and they will live on as a celebratory story long after we've moved beyond the 30th anniversary. We were founded in 1966 by John Bowers. He came as a kind of an interested enthusiast, a passionate music lover, rather than a kind of a hardcore engineer chasing numbers and data. He was chasing experiences and performances. In 1981, he opened his research and development center. He chose to base himself alongside his engineers because what fascinated him and what drove him was this art of making a better product. The idea is, you finished, great, good. Now work out where you went wrong. Let's make it better next time. Dick was very much a, a one-man band, if we're being honest. You know, he, he designed every aspect on the Nautilus. My immediate boss was uh, Dr. Glyn Adams, uh, who was the head of research. But then immediately above Glyn was John Bowers himself. John really appreciated and understood his engineering team. He's always given this incredible freedom to do, effectively, to do what I wanted. The brief was loose. It was to come up with the best speaker. Make a speaker that doesn't sound like a speaker. That's it. Nautilus is like that virtuous circle perfected of the form inspired by the function, and the function is get rid of the box. So the curvature at the front is technically correct, but it's also sensuous. It also shows the light and it shows the curves in a really attractive way. Really the key bit of technology which gave rise to the Nautilus was the use of a rear exponentially tapered tube. When it came to the base, that was a pretty large construction. So what would we do with it? Well, the natural thing always is to curl the thing up. People just respond and engage in a positive way, even three decades later, to just that purity of expression and unfettered design approach. Because it was so different, because it was so freed from all of those limitations, Nautilus is beautiful and at the same time, it's a pig to make. The single biggest challenge was probably molding that funny shaped box, which was great fun to design. We don't change processes. We try and stick wherever we can to the tried and tested methods that we have. The time that it takes, and the labour intensiveness of how long it is to make a pair. There are so many different steps. It's an absolute labour of love. We create and produce the Nautilus from scratch, really, from start to finish. I'm a quality engineer. I'm responsible for testing product, testing the Nautilus. I joined in 1989, so this is my 34th year of working at Bowers and Wilkins. The Nautilus, it's an iconic product. A number of times I've heard people talk about, maybe we don't need to make the Nautilus anymore, but it's always one of those products which people love. I basically check the Nautilus before it goes into a box. In my time here, I think I've probably worked on a couple of hundred Nautilus. Every single one has to be made by hand because you have to feel what you're doing to get the shape. I work in the polishing department. I have been here uh, just about 10 years, and I've been doing the Nautilus for seven years of that. Yeah, I'm really proud, so I'm choking up now. <laughs> it's such a pleasure to be a part of this to begin with, and to be a part of, you know, 30 years of Nautilus. To say we've made the yeah. 30th anniversary edition Nautilus is uh, extremely special, and it's quite a proud moment. I have to say my favourite colour of all the different ones that I've seen is the special pair that we've made to celebrate the Nautilus story in the first place. The, the idea of there being you know, a 30th anniversary in a pearlescent paint. 
the outer finish is the same colour as the interior of the marine animal that inspired the Nautilus and gave it its name. So it's based on a chambered Nautilus and it's abalone pearl. I'm chuffed to bits that it's still, <laughs> still being made and it's just amazing. I'm so touched to be here today. I would hope that John Bowers would be incredibly proud of the team that's continued his legacy, that's carried forward the idea that we can combine art and technologies to deliver musical experiences that go far beyond our customers' expectations. I guess the real legacy of Nautilus is the pursuit of an ideal speaker. And the approach and the methodology to get there, that's what we're instilling in everyone, and that thread runs through today, 30 years later.